Hey, welcome back. We're at Exodus chapter 2 now, verses 7 to 9, and let's take up the story we've been looking at each morning. Then his sister said to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and call a nurse for you from the Hebrew women, that she may nurse the child for you? Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Go ahead. So the girl went and called the child's mother. Then Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this child away and nurse him for me, and I will give you your wages. So the woman took the child and nursed him. So it was the moment of decision, wasn't it, right? The baby, it's definitely a, a Maho, it's definitely a Hebrew. She's right at the edge of the Nile River, the command of Pharaoh to throw them in the river and drown, the, drown them in the river. She's Pharaoh's daughter. I mean, if she doesn't know what the command is, who does? And so it's that moment of decision. And just on cue, Miriam, Miriam walks into the scene and says, Hi, hey, should I call one of the Hebrew women to come and nurse this child for you? <laughs> nurse the child for you? Do you hear what's going on here? Uh, this child is being delivered into, uh, it's a drastic measure, but if, if it should work, this child is being delivered to Pharaoh's daughter, and it would become, if she accepts the child, it will become her child, and he'll be saved from uh, being slaughtered and drowned in the Nile. Because that's Pharaoh's daughter, and you know, what Pharaoh's daughter wants is Pharaoh's daughter usually gets, right? And you know, Pharaoh's daughter was not a, a silly person. She was not a stupid person. She must have immediately recognized if, if uh, the, the, whole, the whole thing, uh, the, the woman who would be ready to nurse the child, probably almost certainly what? That's, that's the kid's mom. That's uh, some Hebrew woman that birthed the child. And so anyway, she's thinking, all these ideas are going through Pharaoh's daughter's um, head, and we don't even know her name. But uh, she's figuring it out, and, you know, I throw the water, drown the child, or give the child life. You know, what do I do? So, and so she says, go call the woman. So the woman comes, and she probably takes it all in in a moment and says, oh, this is the baby's mother. So she makes the arrangement with him. Look, you nurse the child, and I'll, when, you, when we're done, uh, you bring the child back to me. I will give you your wages. So perhaps everybody there knew what was going on, right? Miriam knew. Pharaoh's daughter knew. And certainly Jochebed knew. And there we have the situation. There we have it. So again... Pharaoh may be on his throne, but God is on his throne. And here we have a little baby delivered from sure death through this fascinating uh, arrangement, this interesting plan, this interesting development, this crazy, miraculous development. And yet, you know, the, the mother did her part, and God does his part, and this pagan woman, this, this daughter of Pharaoh, she does her part. So be careful that you don't just throw all the pagans away. Jochebed can trust Pharaoh's daughter with even her beautiful boy. And one future day, God himself will trust his divine son to a human mother in a world bent in sin. Interesting pieces to you tomorrow.